Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my third Shop My Stash video. So, like the usual, I mean, if you've watched my previous Shop My Stash videos, then you would know that um, there are four products which I added in for last time. And I've been using them since the past, I think, around a month. Now, some of these products I've used throughout the month. Some I used in the starting, I've not used so much recently. Some I started using recently and like all that stuff. So, basically, it's going to be a little bit all over the place. But I've used these products enough and i know what i exactly feel about them and that is the main purpose so yeah uh, we have four products to uh, share an update about and then we have four products that i'm going to be adding in for the next two months so this time i want the period to be a little bit longer so i will be sharing an update in i think end of april or beginning of may i'm not exactly sure but yeah, I'm going to take a little bit longer to like really try and test out these products because the new ones I'm adding in, I feel like are not something I would use probably every single day. So I want to give myself more time to like really figure out my thoughts on those. But yeah, without any further ado, without any further ado let's get started. So um, starting with uh, the first product which was in my uh, Shop My Stash for last month was the Makeup Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro. And in terms of this one i feel like i have my thoughts figured out but um, there are still a few products which i have not used a lot but i feel like as of now i have my thoughts figured out and i know how to use this palette when i need to and it's also something which i pretty much use every single day for at least one of the purposes so um i'll quickly uh, like you know talk about all of the products and how i think i can use them so we we'll start with this um, highlight first this is like pretty much a white highlight now i don't think i can ever use this on its own because it's going to be really popping really blinding and it's going to be very very light for my skin tone but i have tried mixing this in with my colourpop highlight so i have this really big pan of colourpop highlight which is like a golden highlight and i feel like when when I mix this in with that it gives me a really nice golden champagne sort of highlight which looks a little bit more wearable and natural like if I wear that highlight on its own it looks straight up like golden glitter on my face but I know when I mix this in with that I feel like this kind of makes it a little bit more subtle a little bit more wearable and not so golden so I really like this for that then moving on to the second product which I've not used a ton but the few times I have used it I feel like I can use this for like sort of maybe cleaning up my contour or bronzer or just for a little little bit of like um, like a matte highlight like under my eyes or like on my cheekbones something of that sort I haven't tried using this for um, like you know evening other pigmentation on my eyelids but I feel like it might be a little bit too ashy for that I haven't tried it out that way but it's a way which just like popped up in my head that this is also a way in which I can use it moving on next to the third uh, product which I actually hit pan on so you can tell this is the shade which I have used the most out of this palette and it is the banana shade now this is what I actually use to um, you know mat I mean not mattify to even out the pigmentation that I have on my eyelids I can also use this to clean up my contour and like brighten up under my eyes it's your like typical banana powder so you know any banana powder like whatever different uses you use it for you can use this in any of those ways the fourth and the last highlight here that we have in the top row is what i use as my highlight it's the one that i currently have on my cheekbones as well i absolutely freakingly love this it looks like the most beautiful like gleaming glow and i absolutely love it in terms of the uh, shades that we have in the bottom, the only shade which I have used is this one. And this is one of my absolute favorite contour shades, but I haven't used the other shades. Now I have used this particular one, I think once or twice to contour and it does work pretty well. But I feel like this one is a little bit too dark and too, it's not too gray, but it's a very deep contour shade. So it's going to definitely give a very stark contour. Whereas this one I feel like is leaning more towards the... Um, bronzer side like it's a little bit more warm as compared to all the other shades so i'm not sure if i can actually contour with this or maybe i'll use it like a bronzer so we have to still figure out as to how i'll be using the contour shades but yeah that was my um thoughts and opinions on the makeup revolution iconic lights and contour pro i absolutely freakingly love this palette so yeah those were my thoughts moving on next to another product which i've been absolutely freakingly loving and i feel like i fell in love with it all over again and i am so happy that i put it in my shop my stash this is the makeup revolution luxury banana powder this is one of my absolute favorite loose powders 
I love how brightening it is. I love how amazing it looks on my skin. I love how um, just awake and fresh and uh, brightened my skin looks because of it. I love how it keeps my face uh, matte throughout the day and it gives the most beautiful natural base. I mean, it's the most beautiful natural base for my skin and uh, for my makeup. And I just absolutely freakingly love it. That is all I have to say about this one. Now moving on to something which I absolutely do not like. I did not use it a ton and I I kind of made up my mind that I don't want to use it anymore which is why I'm actually going to declutter this out of my collection. I'm going to give it away to a friend or you know someone who might want to use it. But this is the uh, make uh, non makeup revolution. I said makeup revolution like two times already and that is all the makeup revolution products I have. But this one is by Blue Heaven. It's the line and design sketch eyeliner and I do not like this the tip is okay but the reason why i don't like this is because of the pigmentation i don't feel like i can make this work on my eyes i feel like it is it just skips all the time it does not give me an even amount of pigmentation it's not black enough it's very very sheer and i don't like it at all i feel like if someone has the patience to work with this they can definitely use this but I don't have the patience, I don't like this, I don't want to have it in my collection anymore. So I'm definitely giving this away to someone or if so nobody wants it, I'll just throw it away. So yeah, that was that. Moving on to the last product that we have is the Avon Simply Pretty uh, Shine No More Press Powder in the shade Natural Beige, which is like an orangey powder. So this is what I use as a blush topper. So if I don't want, like right now, you can see my chin... Uh, not chinks my cheeks have a lot of pink but if i want a blush which is not as pink what i do is i put this on top of my blush and the blush which i'm wearing and the blush which i pair with this is the maybelline color show blush in creamy cinnamon i feel like that one uh like for certain looks it might be a little too pink and if i want a little bit more natural blush or a little bit more peachy sort of a blush or a little bit more nude basically not as pink then i put this on top of my maybelline color show blush and i absolutely freakingly love it again something that i did rediscover after adding in my shop my stash so yeah that was for this uh, so those were all the products that i had to share an update on now moving on to the products which i'm going to be using for the next two months so yeah uh, beginning with is my um, palette of the month for march so this is something which i did not uh, even though it was a palette of the month for March, I feel like I've been actually using this a lot since the past, I would say, one week. And I think by the time you actually see this video, it'll be like approximately two weeks because I feel like uh, I'm actually filming this video quite a bit in advance. So yeah, uh, basically, I want to use this product a lot more because I feel like I've not used it enough. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm adding this in my shop, my stash. It is my own curated ColourPop quad of four eyeshadows and um, this is what it looks like if you've seen my um, hashtag palette of the month march edition video which if you have it watch i'll leave a link in the description box you can definitely go and check out that video so yeah in that video i swatch all of these eyeshadows i talk about the shades i talk about how i can use them and all of those good things and since i want to continue using this i thought i'll just add it in my shop my stash so yeah that is why i'm adding this in moving on next we have a lipstick which was in my everyday makeup drawer but I did not use it a ton so I thought let's try adding it in my shop my stash and see how well I can use it I also feel like um, even though I've used it a bit in the recent past I would say but I feel like I want to uh, I mean I remember that back in the day when this was new it was one of my absolute favorites but I feel like now I have discovered so many new lipstick formulations that the pre the products which were my favorites in the past are not my favorites anymore so I have definitely moved on so I want to share an updated review of this compared to like what I felt about it earlier how I feel about it now and all of those things so I'm adding in my shop my stash so I can regularly use it I can probably regularly use it and figure out my updated thoughts on this so I can do like an updated favorite lipsticks video and I can share like lipsticks which were my favorites in the past and which are not favorites anymore and what has replaced them and all of those things. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm adding this in and uh, a product which I can actually pair with that lipstick is this lip liner. It's the Avon... Um, the name has gone off completely because like it's a very old product but yeah it's the avon lip liners and this one is in the shade nude so um this is one product which i know i don't um 
like that much but um, I want to figure it out like how to use this I have this this much left if you can see I think now you can tell better because against my hand it looks like it's the same thing and you can hardly tell but when I hold it against the background you can see how much of product I have left so this is something which I know I don't like it but I want to somehow make it work and just use it up so that's the reason I'm adding it in my shop my stash so we have that and last but not the least I have the Lotus makeup natural blend swift makeup uh, SPF 15 it's basically a uh, Lotus Herbals stick foundation which is broken like you can see it is messy AF and you can see the condition of this product so basically I want to use it up also um, figure out how I feel about it and all those things because I feel like for foundations my thoughts change quite frequently and I just want to use it and just figure it out because I feel like it's been a very 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 long time since I've actually used it so yeah that's the reason why I'm adding this in my shop my stash and yes that is pretty much it those were all the products which I wanted to add in the products which I had earlier and I wanted to share my updated thoughts on them and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful and informative and if you did and you would like to watch more such videos from me then definitely please 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 subscribe to my channel because it would mean the absolute world to me and also hit the notification bell button which is next to the subscribe button because that way you'll get notification every single time i post a new video i'll also leave my um, shop my stash uh, playlist in the description box so if you want to watch my earlier shop my stash videos then you can definitely do so as well and yes that is it i'll also leave my social media handles along with listing and linking all these products in the description box so just in case you're interested in checking any of them out you can definitely do so and yes that is it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time